What's going on everybody? It's Rick from Garden with Bar Chucking. Today I'm checking on, this was my one pound red wiggler bin that I fed the Bokashi to. It's been a week so I'm going to look in now see how it's looking. Oh, well, I got a few worms on top of the paper bag. See some more worms in the area. Go for an aggressive grab. I'd say they like it. Oh well, wow, they're going after that banana peel. Nice. So, that is very exciting to see. And I think I'm going to do the harvest today. So, Let's see about getting those castings out of here. Here are the castings. I ran it through a quarter inch screen. There's still, I guess we'll call it more uh, vermicompost. There's still some paper in there. A um, little bit of worms, but overall pretty nice harvest. And uh, we'll get back into the uh, feeding. Okay. So, as you can see, I left a little bit of castings down here at the bottom. I'll be adding the new bedding and incorporating the castings. So I have some egg cartons that I ripped up that are going in here too. And definitely, I'm adding water to this. And some grit. And then this is some of the leftovers from the sifting. I also have a bunch of coffee grounds. So I'm gonna incorporate that in the fresh bedding too. Okay, so I have the feeding zone turned back around towards me. Oh, there's my uh, pine cone. I'll look through this real quick again. Still has that sweet smell like I was telling you before. But wow, it looks like just about everything's pretty much gone, except for, you know, some of these banana peels. Um, I think this was like a lime, lime or lemon peel. Yes, definitely not a lot of food is left. Oh, I see a sticker. I'm getting that out of there. So, let's go ahead. Slide some of the food out of the way. Oh, that's another pine cone piece. Oh, 
I'm gonna give them some regular food scraps. And I had a squash in the garden. And it looks like it actually was like two. When I, when I pulled it, the smaller one started going bad. So I figure I can give that to the worms. And also give them one of them food bombs. I'm going to definitely try to get back in this bin fairly soon again, like within another week or so, and see how this feeding's doing. Um, and hopefully at that time, uh, the moisture starts balancing out in that new bedding, and then I'll switch over and start feeding that side. Let me go ahead, add a little grit to that feeding. See, I still have a bunch of uh, dry paper from that last feeding. So that's one of the reasons why I did not, um, I did not go ahead and add any more bedding to this side. Plus they have all this other fresh bedding so they should be pretty good seeing how much dry bedding there is. I am going to add just a little bit of water on this side. And lastly, to keep my worms nice and happy, I'll go ahead and give them a little bit of that worm chow. And I will let that sit in here for a little bit just to make sure that the worms get off the screen. And uh, hopefully it will only be maybe another two days. Then I'll take that off and then pull that so it starts covering that fresh bedding. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Bokashi feeding. I'll say I was a little surprised. Everything pretty much went, like I said, except for some banana peels. But anybody that has a worm bin knows they take a little bit of time to break down. If you guys have any questions, don't forget to drop them down in the comments. Thanks for coming along checking out the video. Everybody have a great day.